Hi students, welcome to An Academy Neat English. It's me, your biology educator Ambika Sharma, and this video is dedicatedly for the female aspirants. Yes, you heard me right. Today, I want to interact with my female students. I want to ask them few questions, and I want to show them some numbers. Let's start with the Neat UG. First of all, Neat that is National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. It's a very important exam. to be a doctor in india if you want to join the mbbs if you want to be a doctor first of all you have to qualify this exam with very good marks then only you will get a seat in the medical college right i i'm sure you all are aware of it now if i talk about this exam if i talk about the numbers for the neat ug 2024 so let me tell you students the number of students appeared i'm talking about the number of students that appeared in the neat ug examination they were approximately 23 lakh 33000 something and if i talk about the students who qualified this particular exam they were uh, 13 lakh 16268 and among them the female candidates they were 7 lakh 69222 okay and if i talk about the male candidates they were uh, somewhere in the range of 5 lakh uh, they were 5 lakh 47000 something so basically i can say right that uh, in the neat examination in the neat examination the number of students that appeared more female candidates they appear in the neat ug examination okay and no doubt more number of females they are qualifying this particular examination so congratulations to all of you but what is my question here what is my question here guys if i see the list of the toppers right especially for this particular year i know the scam is there the discrepancies are there but still if we see that list among top 100 students only 26 students are females only 26 female aspirants they managed to get rank among top 100 students if i talk about the top 20 students in the neat ug 2024 only 3 females are there only 3 females okay fine this year the scam is there okay but if i talk about the result of last year that is neat ug 2023 among top 100 st- um, among top 20 students only two students are female candidates what is happening so if more number of students if more number of female candidates they are qualifying this particular exam then why when we see the toppers why male candidates are there today please don't take me otherwise it's not like that i'm here with some agenda right that uh, uh, i'm just being feminist and uh, i want the girls to grow only no that is not the thing that i want to say right that is not something that i want to communicate but all i want to say is that uh, when more number of girl aspirants they are qualifying this exam more number of girls aspirant right they are appearing in this exam then why when we see the list of toppers why we have less number of girls there why why is it so why when we talk about the girls and the boys right if i talk about them no doubt now we have better chances we have better opportunities right i'm not going to use the word equal opportunities because truly it is not there right truly it is not there but still we are getting better chances we are getting better opportunities but despite of that still still there is a gap still there is a gap when we see the uh, leadership roles when we see the these decision making roles we don't see more and more females there right and if we have someone there we really encourage that okay but we don't see such things so what what is the agenda of this video what i want to ask and what i want to communicate actually the very first thing that i want to communicate is that girls right after a lot of struggle we are getting better opportunities right there are girls who are privileged their parents they are equally concerned about their studies including me okay their parents they are your parents are sending you to different states for better education right they are providing you equal chances then so please please and please utilize it wisely please do not get distracted there are are I, i always use this thing right because you are right now you are in vulnerable age and this is for the 
this is for the boys as well this is for the boys as well so you are in a vulnerable age and there are so many predators around and they just want to trap you so that they can get benefits okay and especially girls right especially girls please be aware if your parents are providing you equal opportunities if your parents are trusting you then please utilize it properly then please prove it right that yes you are deserving please do it please do it right you have to each and every girl who's studying somewhere who's succeeding you are representing the entire community no doubt i don't just want to talk about the gender only but at this point of time when i saw the result i analyzed that why why that gap is there why that gap is there i really i i'm not able to understand that then if i talk about the psychological factors if i consider some psychological factors so obviously it is believed right you know it very well it is believed that when it comes to boys and girls right the different parts of our brain uh, you know they uh, work in different ways like females they are more emotional in comparison to the males right these are the things but again i'll specify it is not gender it is not uh, basic uh, it is not basically uh, related to the gender only but yeah if if i talk about the majority of girls so yes they are considered as emotional okay so psychological factors are also there pressure is also there now because of scam i know right because of scam because of this distress many girls they are under pressure even all the aspirants they are under pressure but when i talk about the girls right it is believed that their management right it is believed i'm telling you this thing it is believed i'm not saying it is so just listen to me very carefully that it is believed that girls they are not so good when it comes to dealing with such type of stress they keep on crying they don't know how to deal with it yesterday we saw one case where a girl jumped uh, and uh, she ended her life she was a heat and she asked her why why such kind of things are there why why when it comes to pressure why do we consider that girls they are not able to handle it well right physiologically they are not so uh, well uh, their physiology is not so efficient or psychologically they are not so well is it so no i don't believe it i don't believe it i know there are some differences right psychologically and physiologically i know there are differences but i don't think that on the basis of that differences the girls should be just like this i know majority of girls aspirant majority of girls are uh, candidates who qualified this neat ug examination they are in that range in 500 to 650 somewhere so i want you people to handle this pressure properly right i want you people not to give up i want you people to give it a try right i i want you people to i'm not saying just go for the neat ug only i'm just i just want to say that whatever is happening right now you should have all courage and you have to deal with it nicely right you have to deal with it and you have to stand strong like a pillar this is what i'm expecting from female candidates today as i said it is believed that they don't know how to deal with such pressure and i want my female students to to basically to prove this thing wrong that no it's not like that it's not like that when it comes to handling the pressure we girls are the best right we girls are the best we are not that papa's princess who are just going to cry we will stand right we will stand and we are going to give our best and we are going to deal every situation in a proper way isn't it girls so this is what i'm expecting from you and that is the agenda of making this video uh, why am i showing you these numbers why am i telling you that why this major gap is there because i want you people to realize that you know every day we fight every day we fight no doubt now we have the better opportunities but we do not have the equal opportunities still societal expectations are there right still that uh, thing of that early marriage is there right still that gender inequality is still there right still it is there when it comes to as i said when it comes to the decision making roles you will see very few females right their decisions are also question marked right and we have to change that image we have to change that image and if you will learn this thing in such an early age and trust me you will you will change the society for sure so promise me that you are with me promise me you are not going to give up promise me that you are going to deal with it in such in such an amazing way that i'll say that i'm proud of my students